Right, we've just pulled out of the um, council marina here in Mamaris, and I'm hoping it's for the last time. I love being here, but in the marinas it's really hot, so it's really good that most of our work are all done, and neutral, most of our work's all done. Um, anything else that can, needs to be done, anyone can come out onto Salacia at Anchor. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Rick's running a cable for the AIS aerial and um, it's just yelled out, oh, no, I'm just editing. <laughs> he said, come now and you must bring the camera. Here we go. Come look what I found. I've got to plug up my glasses for this. I've got to get my glasses. Oh, so now he wants his glasses. So heaven knows what's going to be. Well, I'm just installing the new AIS Aerial, yeah, okay. right, and I needed wow. to get in underneath your oh, cupboard, yep. and so I lifted that up and I found this, thinking, oh, is she hidden me a birthday present or something? Yep. But no. You ready? Yeah. Things you find on boats. <gasps> a guide to being a better lover. Oh. Now this might have to be censored. I'll see you later. Girly books. What's the date? The hunt director Jack Shag. Quick just said what the art director was Jack Shag. We go across. Please send me all of these. All of these going back to oh. so about July 1988. They got prices on that? Yeah, five five US dollars. Well, there you go. Okay. I've just got a bit of reading to do. What? I've just got a bit of reading to do. Oh no, no, no more reading. Oh, come on. Well, if the job's not what? done, if the job's not done in an hour, I'll have to go. No. Hey, Elliot. No, it's Rick. If the job's not done in an hour, I'd better go and see what he's up to. Um, yeah. Oh, well, that was a bit of fun. Fancy. We thought we knew everything on this boat, but obviously not. I just noticed it. Rick hadn't come out through the galley door, galleyway with the cable, so I yelled out to him, put the books down. He said, oh, I'm just reading the cartoons. Today is the day that the Turkish people celebrate uh, the putting down of the coup. There was a coup four years ago uh, against the government, the democratically elected government, and there was a coup and uh, they were successful in putting down that military coup so they celebrated on today so in Marmaris where we are now we've just had to relocate our anchorages all of us have had to move because there's a concert on way over there no wonder they got us to move <laughs> he is over the top of these yachts and the tow boat so the wind up there must be something strong because he is He's a long way over, over the top of the anchored yachts. No wonder the Coast Guard wanted us all to move. <laughs> oh, here comes the Coast Guard. They're in a hurry to go somewhere. And here is two more. Paraglide is coming through. And there's old mate one in the Batman man. Look at that. Right over the top of coastline. Maybe. How cool is that? Over the top of our reef. 
Mate, don't have, don't a, have a pedal. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, here comes Batman. That's the Batman boat. Pretty snazzy on the top. Now we wired our new aerial in today and I was just doing a radio check with Coastline and he said that we're hearing okay so we went up to um, high power and he heard us way better and he said um, we're doing a, a further check and he said do you have any cold beer over there and I thought he just wanted me to talk on the radio so I said no but I can count to ten so I went one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then later on we chatted a bit more and he said, no, seriously, do you have so many cold beer over there? And I said, yes, but we don't have the tender to take it to you because Rick's got it at the moment. And he said, oh, I'll just do a Mersey Dash. I'll just swim over to get some beer. So cold beer, I'm just packing up for Coastline. He's a pretty good swimmer, so he might even be here by now. Nope, he's not even in, I don't know. He may be in the water. There he's coming. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be coming like that. That's funny. I oh, don't trade them, they're not being traded. Yeah. No, not at all. Oh, come on. Here you go. I'm going to sink me up. <laughs> okay. Go. Oh, you want to have a roadie? I'll have one for the road. <laughs> one for the tube as well. One for the tube. Okay. Alright. And look at those clever covers that cover the beer tops. Here's the turkey. Here's the turkey. It looks likely that we'll be leaving within a week, turkey. <laughs> yep. Okie dokie. Enjoy, Enjoy. You know, never to drink and drive, but drink and swim's okay. Yeah, drink and swim, we good, Joe. Bye. It's the Australian mate. Yep, Joby. See you later. Thanks, Alicia. No problem. Thanks, Alicia. That's a pleasure, Coastline. Hey boy, you look a bit happy. Why is that? Hey boy, where are you going? Are you going out? Yeah. You are? Where are you going to? <laughs> where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Well, if only you knew. He's going to the vet. We'll come across a little bit of a stumbling block. We've all been so concentrated on um, COVID-19. So when we came to Turkey, uh we were just so delighted it's been so good to us for the duration of so far and then it came to our attention just as we're thinking about leaving that this is not a a listed country for rabies it's actually the lowest of levels which is a sea level country and um, that means we have to have a TETA test for rabies, uh, the vaccination to make sure that the right cells are there, etc. He's already been vaccinated. And um, being an Australian dog, he was vaccinated before we left, and it's a three, the vaccination lasts for three years, and we've been here one year. But um, they still want the test to be done. But to get into another country, even after doing the test, you had to wait three months. So we're just going to the vet now to see if we can get some sort of certificate or something that says that Go to the vet. he came from a, 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 um, a rabies-free country to start with before he was vaccinated to see if we can you know, um, get around this uh, waiting for three months period. We will be able to get him on, uh, go somewhere, but he'd just have to stay on the boat for three months and not go ashore. That's a bit cruel, so we're trying to do something a bit better than that. He's raring to go, but he doesn't know where he's going. Wait, wait, boy, wait, wait, sit, 
Sid. Oh, oh, is that excited to go to the vet? <laughs> Off you go. Can you can you reach it? Yes, he's gone. He's in. Go on. It's a bit far, in you go. Daddy. In you go. Who would have thought? Off to the vet we go. We've just left the little village of Tronch, just near Marmas. So we're now on our way heading towards Dacha. And that's 100 nautical miles away, so hence we are leaving this early. It's uh, only a few minutes later, but look. A little bit of breeze, a little bit of rag out. We had the main repaired in Marmaris, so but we haven't rebent it back onto the furlers because we had to do some other little bits and pieces to our backstay and to the furler, so that's still a work in progress. But uh, I can put the staysail out, I guess, if I wanted to. And this is the coastline we're currently passing. Speaking of coastline, that's them over there. afternoon for the last time and we went to what was the name of the place we went to last night Rick? Uh, Tronch. 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 Tronch which was really rock and rolly so not much of a sleep left at the crack of dawn this morning um, to go to another anchorage about 45 nautical miles away but it was pretty shitty out there can't get sails up rock and rolly wind in the wrong direction so we decided to take this little turn into this little um, anchorage area and it is well, Turkey has opened its borders to Greece so a lot of yachts have come flooding over, literally flooding over. Yeah, but we don't know how they're going to get back because Greece's borders aren't open, open so I don't know how they're going to go back if they're Greek. It's been a lovely glorious day until Brian turned his generator on. So we actually, <laughs> all of us, and we're all about to go out to dinner. We could it's stay not. here, so we'd stay here for an, like free if we paid for the expensive meal down there. So we're just about to head down there, Nemo's. Night. Yes, Nemo's Farm Restaurant. Okay, okay, so we've enjoyed this really nice dinner, and you know we're getting like free anchorage, but like, let's get ripped off. We have a fair bit of cash on board, but we do not have enough cash for this meal. Boys are up there saying, we don't have the cash. So I've only had one beer and we did between us. We had a bottle, one bottle of wine. Kids, the kids, the kids didn't eat. They ate before they came here. So it's only four people eating. We're saying that the women could do the dishes, but only in the morning because your wine was so nice, we drank it all. <laughs> Hey, stop!
I got that on YouTube. So, Lisa and I have been Brittany absent, absent from Brittany for two weeks now, and we might. Yep. And here she comes with, accompanied by her three boys, Jackson, Finn, and Ryan. And they're a bit spent, apparently. They've had two very rocky, rolly nights. Let's have a look. And they're all wrapped up in really warm clothes. Look at us, toggy woggies, swimming, relaxing. Sucks to be them. The spring line attached to his skirt that Brittany gives me at the bow. Brace, Brace, the most important girl on the whole of the flotilla. <laughs> Brittany, you were going to leave her. I just said the most important girl in this flotilla. Oh. Right, no. Ooh, that's right. Oh, wait a minute. Such... How are you, how, what have you have on under there? Get, get that camera out of here. <laughs> yeah, last time she hopped on, what happened? I'm not wearing Sphinx this time. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's pre warmed. Oh, pre warmed. Well done, yep. Louise. A lot warmed. of responsibility here. This, yeah. this is precious cargo, you guys. Yeah. Oh, no, like, <laughs> you have the senior generation and daughter here, so you really must look after us and don't drive fast, save the planet. Fixes ah, yeah. Yeah. Look here, guys. Oh, yeah. Excuse me a tick. Excuse me a tick. If I may. Yeah, uh, Ryan, meet Mark. Mark got an injury the other day and he used a rusty Stanley knife. Now, what does that remind you of? Hey, I got a good story for you. That's because the carpenter. The two of them have used a rusty Stanley knife. No, mine was a clean one. Mine was a clean one. I had a uh, uh, wizard tooth going through and it was all like sore and I was so feeling sick because I think it was getting infected. And I was at this job site. I was in so much pain, I was actually almost gonna cry. And I ended up getting my Stanley blade out and I like cut the bit of gum out. And as soon as I cut that little bit of gum, the pressure just went up. And within about half an hour, I was like back at work. What did it do? Yeah. Let's hear it. Is this your foot? I've got those really long spots. Yeah, yeah. Not the little The big sea urchins. Like that. Oh. So then I got the idea of putting the Stanley knife on one side yeah, yeah. and another go knife on the other side. Yeah, flick it out. <laughs> I think I just have to to get that. in there and, and then try and lever it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we bought razor blades from the shop. <laughs> so then we got the needle and, and then I cut it. And so how is it at the moment? Oh, fantastic. No. Oxycontin and moxillin. That's we're going to my Think about where we have how are we all feeling about packing up the boat and getting on? Ready to be in a new country. Turkey's been really good to us though, so that's a bit scary. But do we know where we're going? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so Greece at the moment doesn't have their uh, borders open, so let's, yeah, not to um, anyone coming from Turkey. 